Welcome, everybody. Welcome to this BioIT World Web Symposium uh, entitled Simplified Big Data Management for Life Science, uh, sponsored by Isilon. We're grateful to them for their support underwriting this uh, webcast, uh, which allows us to offer complimentary registration to everybody joining us on the call. I'm Kevin Davis, the Chief Editor of BioIT World, author of the new book, The Thousand Dollar Genome. thought I would slip that in. Uh, and delighted to be joined by three uh, absolutely outstanding uh, experts in the field of managing large amounts of data, particularly but not exclusively next generation sequencing data. So we're going to have a fascinating uh, series of presentations and hopefully lots of interactive discussion using the chat box that you've just heard about uh, on this WebEx platform uh, to make the most of the next 90 minutes. Let me just set the stage uh, for what we're going to talk about today. Scientists and researchers, as you all know, are generating astonishing volumes of data that need to be securely managed and stored, and yet also remain accessible to the organization's users. But with increasingly stretched resources, the ability to leverage the existing IT infrastructure at these organizations is absolutely imperative. In today's web symposium, you're going to hear from three industry experts in this space who will provide you with valuable perspective on the real-world challenges of managing the data bonanza, particularly the, uh, the bonanza of data in prevalent in next-gen sequencing. Uh, we'll talk about how to store and organize and share data, and you'll hear how some of the world's leading genomics research organizations are coping with the, uh, with the data deluge. We'll also hear on best practices for improving computational workflows, uh, perhaps a little bit on the application of virtualization methods, uh, as well as the implement implementation of more specific, reliable, and scalable storage solutions. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that as, uh, as the webcast proceeds. Three outstanding speakers, as I mentioned. Uh, a little later on, you'll hear from Chris Blessington, who is the Director of Life Sciences and Bioinformatics Product Marketing at Isilon. We'll also hear from Guy Coates, uh, group leader uh, of the Informatics Systems Group at the flagship genome center in the UK, the Wellcome Trust Sanger Institute. Um, and we'll hear from Guy in maybe 20 or 25 minutes. Uh, but first off, it's a great pleasure to introduce Chris Dwan. Chris is the Principal Investigator and Director of Professional Services at BioTeam, a life sciences IT consultancy group based in, um, based in Boston. Chris's training uh, was in computer science originally at the University of Michigan. He began his professional career developing pattern recognition algorithms for military applications before switching to life sciences. At the University of Minnesota, he built software and cluster computing systems for both biological and clinical researchers. And a few years ago, he moved to Boston, joined the bio team, and where he specializes in high-performance cluster computing and large-scale data storage. Chris, it's a great pleasure to uh, have you join the webcast today, and I'm going to pass the uh, pass the mantle over to you. Thank you, Kevin. That was a, a very fine introduction. And uh, thank you also to uh, Chris and Isilon for the opportunity to speak, and to Elizabeth for pulling the session together. Um, as Kevin mentioned, I am from uh, a small company called The Bio Team. And uh, by small, I mean there are nine of us. We are really quite small, and we're a consulting shop. Um, one of the points in which we take a not inconsiderable amount of pride is that we are vendor and technology agnostic. We do not have any financial incentive or stake with any of the technologies that we uh, configure or recommend. And that allows us a considerable degree of independence to sort of speak our mind. Um, Bioteam is entirely staffed by scientists who were forced into the machine room, forced into building 